What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we have a bunch of cards that were revealed for Primal Origin, which is the set after Legacy of the Valiant, for people that may not know that. Anyway, I thought we were going to have a couple of videos actually explain all these, because it's kind of hard to explain them all in one video. So here we go, I guess the main card people want to know about, and that is number 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. It looks freaking awesome, first off, I gotta say. We have a, you know, pretty good picture of it, and uh, it looks awesome. Uh, let's see, let's read off its stats and everything, too. It is a uh, rank 8 monster, light dragon, of course, and uh, it has 4,000 attack and 3,000 defense. It requires two level 8 monsters to exceed summon into it, so it is generic, doesn't require anything specific. And its effect is, once per, once per damage calculation, if this card attacks or is attacked, you can attach one exit material from this card. During damage calculation only, this card gains 200 attack times the combined rank of all monsters on the field. If this card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect while Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is attached to it as an XC material, you can special summon this card during your second stamina phase after it was destroyed. Also, double is attack. If Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is not attached to this card XC material, half all battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent. Uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to summon than the last uh, XC monster that we had for Galaxy Eyes, uh, first off. And, uh, it's a number monster, so I think that's kind of neat. I'm, I'm sure that goes a lot with the series, too. I haven't really been keeping up. I need to keep up with the series, and, uh... Everyone keeps telling me the second part of it's good, so I plan to give that a chance, and I'll understand a little bit more of the story behind this card. But anyway, uh, this card's pretty awesome. I like it. I like more support. There's actually a lot of Galaxy support in this uh, pack, too, which we'll get to all of it eventually. I'm not going to cover it all tonight because I need sleep. Uh, <laughs> but it is great to see more uh, Photon Galaxy support, and this seems like a really great card. I like, too, how you pretty much have to use uh, Galaxy Eyes to make it useful. So even though it is a generic card, you're not really going to I don't think many people are going to try to use this in something else that doesn't include, you know, photons and, and galaxy monsters. Awesome card, though. I really love the art, too. Which is the most important thing, right? <laughs> and then, that is not the only number monster we're going to be talking about tonight. Uh, I've known about this for a while. This card would be in this set, but it's great to finally have the artwork and the official effect for it. So here we go. It is number C, uh, 107, Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. So yes, we're getting both of the Galaxy Eyes XC monster, number XC monsters, I guess, really. Uh, let's see, this one is a rank 9 light dragon type XC monster, 4,500 attack, 3,000 defense. It requires three level 9 monsters to XC summon into it. Its effect is once per turn, you can detach one XC material from this card until the end phase. The effects of all other uh, face-up cards currently on the field are negated, and during this turn, your opponent cannot activate these the effects of cards on the field. If this card has number 107 Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon as XC material, it gains this effect. Tribute two monsters you control during this turn. This card can attack up to three monsters during each battle phase. So yeah, uh, kind of new Blue Eyes Ultimate. Or <laughs> that's what it reminds me of more. You know, getting to attack multiple times. I know Blue Eyes Ultimate couldn't, but you know, kind of the three-headed dragon. I guess like, I guess the real comparison would be like Trident and Dragon. I guess really. Uh, but yeah, another three-headed dragon is what I'm going uh, with, and uh, yeah, it seems like a great card as well. It's a course chaos number, so. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too hard to bring out for most decks. Uh, ironically, you could use this with uh, Photons as well in Galaxy. I, I say ironically because I think this is supposed to be the monster he's going against. I, I, like I said, I don't really keep up with the anime, but it kind of seems like there should be, or at least if it's not an anime, there should be a rivalry between these two cards because they kind of seem like, like that. Uh, so yeah, what do you guys think about these two cards? Of course, I'm excited about them because they're number monsters, and I'm sure everyone out there too that also collects number monsters is going to be excited about that as well. And... Uh, yeah, I think they're both good monsters, too. I can see myself actually using both of these cards, too, especially with uh, my uh, Photon uh, deck. So I can't wait to actually update this, and maybe we'll do some kind of update on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro whenever these are added to it. Uh, as always, though, thank you for watching. Remember to come right and subscribe, and I'll have the link to these in the description, link to source, and all that. And, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think about these. All right? Later, guys.